is Timid Rat for Castcraft AU for the uh, tournament that we have going at the moment. This uh, this is a game from Pool C, and uh, I'll just go ahead. I uh, actually Pool D. I apologize, and I'll just go ahead and uh, introduce them. So down here, let's get the nameplates up. We have in the eastern position, three o'clock position. We have Darkstar as the purple Zerg, and uh, in the north, twelve o'clock position, we have Amagusa as the orange Protoss. Now this is the first game uh, of three, best of three, that uh, these guys will be playing. Uh, possibly three, hopefully three, for the best uh, viewing. We want three, of course, but uh, we can never tell. Uh, these guys, uh, Amagusa, I do believe, has a little bit of the edge, um, just going by what his uh, ranking is in his um, one vs one league. I believe Darkstar is silver and Amagusa is platinum plus. Uh, can't really be a hundred percent on that but uh, yeah so at basically you see the overlords going out here uh, getting the scout the nice scout but he still is sending that drone um, just because it was a little bit faster and uh, possibly he didn't see any buildings so he's thinking that he might be doing a forward fast expand which he is exactly uh, let me get the production tab up here we see a spawning pool going down for dark star there at uh, at eleven, sorry, quite an early spawning pool, and uh, just uh, looks like Amagusa is saving up for his nexus there. I'm possibly going to put a cannon down first. Uh, we see, yeah, the cannon's going down first. We see both ways being used uh, recently. Some people choose to go pull the nexus first. It is a bit more of a risky move, but uh, if they can pull it off, their economy is going to be much stronger uh, in the long run. So it does take a little bit of practice, but it's also worth it in the long run. Uh, looks like this Darkstar's got a drone down here, he wants to also scout. Uh, not scout, but put his own expansion down. Uh, he might want to, after seeing that uh, Amagusa is forge fast, forge fast expanding himself, so he knows that he has plenty of time. Or he might want to go for a Rogeling all in, or a Baneling bust, or something like that, uh, just to stop him from getting that expansion up and uh, try and win the game right there. But uh, that all in the future, so we will see exactly what happens. Uh, Queen just about to pop out for Darkstar here as well, and uh, two Zerglings, two Zerglings out, ready to chase this probe round because this drone is too slow. Oh, no, no, no sandwich. Oh, he's not controlling his probe here, so he might, go, might lose it. Looks like it might get sandwiched there. Oh my gosh. This is turning out to be a little bit of an epic battle in itself. Loses the probe, but does get the pilot down. I'll uh, be stabbing away at that for a moment before uh, it gets cancelled. In the end, I'm sure it will get cancelled if he leaves it up. Uh, possibly because he doesn't see any lings out, so... It might not be such a bad thing. He needs to get these lings down here and taking on this pylon now that it's finished. <coughs> or possibly get them out scouting. Who knows. He still has this drone in Amagus's base there. A um, bit interesting there. He's got it in the corner. You can just sit it in the corner for now. But uh, looks like Amagusa not very phased with that. Just wants to be getting on with his build, getting, making sure that everything goes down properly. Uh, looks like he's actually going to be faking the forward fast expand here. That drone's so very lucky on one health there, and he gets taken out by another probe there. But uh, yeah, it looks like he might be doing a uh, fake forward fast expand. Yeah, losing that pylon though, only just, it was supply capping him for a few seconds, but uh, he managed to get it out just in time. The next one just in time. So we see the cybernetics core and everything down here, no expansion yet, so uh, down here, here we go, you can see something, Twilight Council. Twilight Council with one gate, possibly going for DTs, hasn't had the gas up for that long though, so maybe not. But, um, could also go for Blink Stalkers, I suppose. Pretty effective on this map and against this build. Oh, these Zerglings doing a bit of a run by. Just patrolling the front there. Making sure no Zealots going to peek their head in or any, um, probes. And now uh, the other two Zealots here just going for a bit of a wander. Uh, not Zealots, Zerglings going for a bit of a wander here. And just making sure all expansions are still free. And he's not tri doing any silly business with uh, proxy gates or proxy stargates, something like that. 
So back up here, what do we see going down? We see a few gateways, three more gateways, and it is Blink. It's uh, being researched right now, so in approximately 90 seconds that will be up. Yeah, that's a pretty good approximation. Uh, as you can see, Lair Tech is about half done for Dust Duxter, and uh, he's also got his evolution chamber on the way. Uh, possibly, is he doing? No, he's not. Just producing uh, an extra queen there for the bottom base. And I uh, still get these links running up and down. We're going to get the links here poking in. No, I'm not going to poke their heads in and see exactly what's going on. Still, let me see. Still a bit oblivious to what is actually going on. He's not sure about any of this tech in the corner. But um, I'm sure he will find out uh, in a good way or in a bad way. So he has some roaches out. Uh, for now, just the three roaches and uh, a few stalkers being warped in for um, Amagusa there. As you can see, uh, he just put a spore crawler down. Oh, it's almost finished, but um, he's got... thinks it might be um, DT since there was no expansion uh, when he looked at it earlier on, so he didn't fast expand, and he did... Uh, see the cyber core going down, so you could have think maybe uh, Void Rays or Dark Templars, but uh, Spore Cannons work good for those, but unfortunately it is uh, neither of those. It is actually Blink Stalkers and a uh, few Zealots, apparently. So, as you see, he is making his way forward, uh, gonna take out his Zergling, gonna reveal his little army here, and uh, it is time for Darkstar to get ready. Got his Zerglings uh, maybe here for the flank at the backside there. And I uh, got his roaches up on the high ground to snipe uh, well to do a bit of damage, hopefully, out of the way uh, from Amagusa. But uh, what he doesn't know is that he has Blink and it is, um, it's going to be nice and easy for him to get away and Blink out of the range of those roaches. Uh, of course, Stalkers do outrange roaches uh, from the start game. So uh, we will see. But he's put a Hydralisk den down, he's got four more roaches on the way, and uh, he does have his roaches out of position here, he's got uh, five down and three up. But uh, those roaches focusing down the zealots, they should be focusing down those stalkers. Uh, got a bit more here, but got himself into a bit of a tight spot there. Thinking about running up the ramp, but not actually going up there, and uh, the stalkers getting a better surround, got a concave on the uh, roaches there. Plus, doing some really nice blink micro there from uh, Amagusa with his stalkers. Uh, looks like Darkstar will manage to hold that off for now, but um, he's got a forward pylon now, so he's going to be applying quite a bit of pressure now with those blink stalkers. I'm pretty sure he's just going to go all stalkers. Yes, he is. Uh, Zerglings are out. Zerglings good, of course, against uh, normal stalkers. Against blink stalkers, not so good, unless they can get a surround uh, before they their blink uh, regenerates. Uh, Overlord here, still not actually aware of what's going on inside Amagus' space. Um, same for uh, Darkstar though, he's not sure that the Hydralisk stun is down. He's got eight more Zerglings coming up, but he needs to produce these Hydralisks really, really fast. Uh, he, I'm sure he will put, I'm sure he would put a uh, bit of money into it now, but uh, he is a bit short on gas, so... Uh, not controlling his army there, just letting it slip a little bit. The Zerglings falling to the back and losing a few wretches out the front there to the Zealots. But uh, getting a nice surround, nice surround with those Zerglings. But uh, of course, those, uh, those Stalkers are able to blink away nicely and uh, just clean up those Zerglings like they were never ever there. Uh, that extension probably going to go down and the Queen running away up into the main. Not much you can do now, he's got his overlords out of position, getting sniped down, and uh, that is going to... No, he didn't quite catch him, but uh, almost supply capped in there. He did a little bit of damage, but he's got uh, quite a few more links that's come out, and I uh, don't know if it's going to be enough. The links targeting, targeting down the wrong thing. He should be targeting down those stalkers, but I think by this time there's just too many stalkers, and uh, that will be the game, or we will see a GG very soon from Darkstar. Uh, some nice play there from... Amagusa, and uh, a, a pretty nice move, uh, even after the patch where the Blink Stalkers have got added 30 seconds to their build time, but uh, he did make a nice little um, decoy there, as if he was going to forge fast expand, but didn't actually went for the uh, Twilight Council with the Blink. 
So it uh, looks like Darkstar emerging, coming out with a little bit of a small uh, counter force here, just to see if he can hold off this main base. And but uh, I don't, I don't think it's possible. Um, even though Amagusa has one base, he has taken into DTs behind this attack, and uh, he's coming in right now. He knows that there are spore cannons at the um, at the natural and at the main, but uh, they're just not going to be enough at this at this point. So his um, blink stalkers get micro properly. Should be too easy for him. To get through, I think he's out of range of cannon anyway, so yeah, everything going down, Hydralis going down, going down really fast, and uh, there is the good game. So Amagusa takes this game, uh, takes the series 1 nil in the best of three. Uh, we will be back in a few moments for game two, so we'll see you then. This has been Timid Rap.